In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the tight integrations between Docker Cloud and Microsoft Azure. Things like building a new swarm, but having all of the required infrastructure like instances, security groups and load balancers automatically bootstrapped for you. But before we can do anything else, we need to link Azure into Docker Cloud as a valid service provider. So in Docker Cloud here, it's under your account and then Cloud Settings. And obviously, I want to add Microsoft Azure. So it wants to know which Azure subscription to link to. Well, I've got another tab open here with my subscription ID, so I'll have that. And paste it in back here. And we should be good. And there we go. That's me. So we're all linked. Now, if this is the first time you're doing this, you're probably going to get another screen asking you to confirm some permissions. But I've used Azure before, so I'm not getting that. Now, one last thing. We need to tell Azure that we want Docker Cloud to provision VMs and stuff for us. So if we search Docker for Azure here in the marketplace, I'm going to work with the community edition here and I'm going to tell it, yeah, I want to be able to deploy this programmatically. This is going to give permission for Docker Cloud to deploy this for us. Okay, well, Swarm's the way we run our Docker infrastructure, so let's go deploy a new one. And straight away, we see how we've got Azure as an option here. And check this out. We can switch back and forth between the stable and edge channels. Anyway, this swarm's going to be deployed in this namespace here. This is my Docker ID. And let's just call it Azure New. We'll do the same with the Azure app name. And we'll pick our subscription that we wanted associating with. This is the one we just added a second ago. Now then, I'm going to create a new Azure resource group. But look, you can select from existing. So we're seeing some of the tight integrations here. I'm going to stick it in UK West. Now then, that was kind of the azure stuff. Now we're more onto the Swarm stuff. I think I'll have three managers for HA and you know what, three workers as well. Now this is going to give us six Azure VMs here in UK West on my pay as you go account. I've got an SSH key here, a public key, and I'm totally fine with the suggested VMs for what we're doing here. Now, this might take a minute or two because in the background, Docker Cloud is talking to Azure and it's creating all the VMs, the security groups, load balancers, you name it, right? All the Azure infrastructure we need to run the swarm. And Docker Cloud's doing it all for us. Well, that's done. We've got a brand new swarm up and running in Azure. And you know what? Because I'm using Docker for Windows on my laptop here, I can just come down here, click the Docker icon, and see this option here, swarms? No prizes for guessing. There is ours right there. And we're in. Let's just check. That is our swarm. And obviously, this works the same with Docker for Mac. But you know what? What if we've already got a swarm in Azure? I mean, what if we've got a few of them kicking about? Well, no probs. We can easily register any of them with Docker Cloud. It's just this bring your own here and then run this command on one of the nodes. So here's one of my other swarms. Just a couple of nodes. So run that command. Give it my Docker ID. Uh, let's call it BYO Azure for bring your own. And check this out. It's been added. And there it is. So I think that's a pretty good overview. We saw how easy it is to connect Docker Cloud and Microsoft Azure. Then, once they were linked, we deployed a brand new swarm to Azure with a few simple clicks. And we connected to it using Docker for Windows or Docker for Mac, they both work the same. And we've even taken an existing swarm in Azure and registered that with Docker Cloud. All in all, some great integrations between Docker Cloud and Microsoft Azure. For more information, come and visit us at cloud.docker.com.